What's up, everybody? This is Rob Shack. So today we're going to be doing the next level in, or the, the next version of the Battle of Kawanakajima. This is the next uh, secret level or secret mission on this level. So be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share, and help me get to a thousand subs. That would be awesome. So what I'm going to do is show y'all what we need to do to unlock this mission. It's a little bit complicated. Um, you have to kind of do a couple of things on this level, and I'll walk you through how to do it now. So. First off, what you want to do is fail the first mission. So this is hilarious to do. It's easy to fail it. All you do is you just turn around and run the wrong way. You run over here, get back here. They'll realize that it's a secret attack, sneak attack, and then they'll, you know, you'll see Kenshin's dialogue there. He says thus in a serious context, which is hilarious. And then what I'm going to do is come running back over here because, you know, I like to keep some of my generals alive. You want to take out this dude. I just do this so that you can, you know, not lose everybody. You want the main camp to fall. You want this. You want this mission to fail where they. Uh, you want the mission to fail where they um, figure out it's a secret attack. Then you want to fail this mission as well, where you want to uh, basically ruin your force's chances of winning this level, basically and def let everybody die on your side. So you want the main camp to fall, which is basically you want the uh, stronghold in Shingen's camp to fall. That's what dictates if the main camp falls. So you want to do that. So by doing that, you just ignore everything and that'll do it. So you come running over here. Um, I want to see the map really quickly. So what I did there was I, um, you can either lose Yukimura or let the main camp fall. I prefer to let the main camp fall because it's just a little bit easier. Um, let's see, look at this. No one's moving, but what I wanted to do is keep Nobushige alive. Although I think he, yeah, so he's back there now. So like what you want to do is try to keep as many of your generals alive as possible. And so what I'm doing here is running around outskirts of the level. What I'm going to do is go running around and secure some strongholds on the enemy side just to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. You want the main camp to fall. When that happens, it kind of goes well for us again. Kuntsuke randomly decides to charge. Fog clears. Shingen's morale will drop again. Everybody is really struggling. And then once the main camp falls, that mission will... The, we will fail the uh, helping Yukimura descend. I'm kind of wondering what will happen since we failed this so so badly at the beginning here. I'm curious what will happen if we... Um, Yukimura's barely even... He hasn't even gotten into the Mount Saijo yet. So I'm like, maybe if we go so badly that... Because uh, Yataro Onikojima will appear at some point and attack Yukimura. But if Yukimura doesn't make any progress, will that even happen? Like, I don't even know. So... Um, Kunsuke is running like a fool. I don't know why he does this. He runs it, uh, he runs it Kenshin. It doesn't make any sense. And so troops are running past, and they're already in the main camp, which is what we want. We want the main camp to fall. I'm just securing strongholds out here to kind of make it where we even, some of our units will spawn in over here instead of actually at the main camp. You just want the, the stronghold to fall in the main camp. That's what we want. Um, are these generals moving in their side? Kind of. Looks like people are sort of trying to advance. I'm not going to help Yukimura at all. Um, Kansuke should die at some point. I don't know why he attacks Kenshin like that. It's very strange. But, yeah, we just leave it so that you're, uh, you want some of your, I just want some of my generals to live, which is why I attacked the bottom side. Those generals staying alive is more important you you want you don't want to keep the uh main path which is what they're all taking now you want that side to be weak so that the gen the generals can just walk right in as quickly as possible any general that goes around to the back side i attack and defeat because i don't like that they do that i would rather them just attack the main camp from the head-on position i'm gonna come running through here real quick i don't want to actually fight kenshin right now and then i'm gonna come running back around here Get rid of this general who's attacking. So it's uh, this Uesugi general who's attacking the south side of our camp. I want to get rid of. 
And then, yeah, when the generals move and attack the main camp, I want to let them do that. They got to get in there. Nobushige and all these people are holding the line better than I would want, given that our morale is pretty terrible at this point. But once they all start to lose, then we'll really make some progress here. Um, I'm going to come running around to the back and help the, the people that are guarding the rear part of our main camp. And then from there, I'll just kind of wait, wait it out for a while. You can either lose Yukimura or not, but I'm going to try to not lose Yukimura. Because I just would rather them all stay alive. Get rid of this dude and his officer. You know, get some experience this way. We're just going to kind of wait it out, honestly. That's what we're planning on doing. Um... I might leave. For now, what I'm going to do is if Yukimura doesn't descend the mountain, if, if <laughs> we'll just kind of wait in between these two places. If Yukimura dies, that will be fine, and we won't have lost that many generals over here. If Yukimura, um, if they get into the main camp before that, then we'll, either way, you have to fail mission. this mission. This is the mission that has to fail. We failed the first one, you have to fail both of them. So if you do that, then you'll be good to go. Kenshin's troops are really not in that much of a hurry to attack, which is kind of weird. So I don't really know what's up with that. Is any general even on their side even trying? Okay, we've got, they got one general trying to attack, and he's not even fully attacking our officers. So that's kind of stupid. For being in, their, in a hurry, they're not really in a hurry. Um, so it'll either be y Yataro Onokojima defeating all of the secondary force, or... The main camp falling. There's two different ways to achieve this, so we're just kind of waiting here to see what happens. Um, I'm not sure which one is going to be the one that breaks. If Yukimura dies that way, well, I, I think the the key is the key way you'll know that this works is if Kenshin says, "Is this the best you can do, Nemesis?" If he says that, I think you're good to go because then you get that version of it. Basically, there's two versions of eliminate Kenshin Usugi, so it's a little bit confusing because they say the same thing. But the key to look for is the dialogue option beforehand. If if he smack talks Shingen, then you know you did it right. That's basically what you need to know. Um, I'm looking to see. So it looks like I thought one of our generals actually advances, but it looks like he's not advancing. So I thought originally there was more people that attacked um, Yukimura's side, but it looks like that's not what's going to happen here. What I might do really quickly is save it, because I might have to make a decision really quickly to see which side is the side I need to rescue. Um, but it looks like Yukimura is... It looks like the <laughs> Yukimura is fighting Yotaro, which isn't good, because he's got a really high morale, and that's not what you want. So, if they start to die, that's my concern. So I'm basically kind of waiting around here to see which one needs help. It's probably going to end up being this thing where, unfortunately, it's going to be that both of them start to struggle and die at the same time. I'm going to lose everybody, and that'll be fine, because this is a secret mission. But the key is to wait for... when You know you'll get it when Kenshin says, is this the best you can do, Nemesis? If he smack talks Shingen like that, then you've got the version, the second version of Eliminate Kenshin Uesugi that comes up on this map. So that's what, that's what you've got to do. Um, it seems like Jotaro's Surprised his morale dropping. I mean, he is up against three generals. He's got Yukimura, Konoichi, and Nobufuso all together fighting him. So that might be why his morale isn't dropping. Like I, or his morale even dropped once there, which is shocking. Um, that Murakami general is actually fighting our generals now too. So that's not good. But I'm not super worried about it. Again, you just obviously don't want Shingen to die. So whatever you want to do to make it where Shingen doesn't die, and you fail the first mission and the fourth mission. So we've now lost Konoichi, which is bad. So Yukimura's not doing so hot, so it might be that Yukimura dies. And if that's the case, then what I might do is go ahead and move up here and rescue our other generals. Again, I've saved it, so if I don't feel like this is the best way to do it, I can go back. But I kind of want to... Obviously, you want as many generals on your side to live. That's the hope. So, 
I'm just gonna instead of uh, protecting Yukimura, I'm just gonna protect these people because now that you, now that Kunoichi's gone, it's not gonna be good for his side. So, see now Nobufusa is gonna get killed. So now we're really the secondary force is basically dead. Yukimura's just got a little bit more time, and then he'll be gone because now he's alone over there. So not going so great but that's the thing with these secret missions is it's usually just Koei being smart and thinking well what happens if we fail missions let's give them a bunch of secret missions and it's pretty awesome that they even thought of that in the first place so um but yeah it's all up to Yukimura now if Yukimura can pull off the upset then I will be pretty shocked but I'm like not expecting it yeah so there he goes so now that Yukimura has gone we should get this uh, this mission. With the secondary force lost. There is no point in staying here. No matter. All units charge the enemy. I did fail to provide support for you, Kimura. You are correct. So now, eventually, I think we should get this mission for Yuki uh, for Kenshin saying, "Is this the you best you could do?" Number six, and then we'll be we'll have achieved what we wanted here. Your skills are impressive, warrior. I think it just needs a second to realize what I'm doing. Is this the best you can do, Nemesis? There we go. So that's the version of the Kenshin mission that you want to see. That shows that we've done it right. Um, everybody on our side is very angry with me for letting everything die and us struggling and not doing a good job. But we did it. We made it. Um, a lot of our generals got really hurt up there, so I probably shouldn't have left them because they're all going to probably die now. But I wanted to get rid of Yotaro Onikojima because he was still, he still is moving towards our side. And he has, I think, a full morale right now because he just took out like three straight generals. So that's why you got to make sure you get rid of Yotaro. Don't let him live because he has a lot of health and morale. So there's a train by my house, so hope you'll enjoy that. that pass so that y'all can hear me again all right well we did it uh, mission complete here so now we'll just the goal is to finish the mission out um, because Kenshin doesn't have a lot of troops um, and his also his morale isn't super high it's not absolutely scary I don't I don't see anyone else dying some some of the side generals might die because they already were hurt but they're all in a giant bunch together and that kind of helps keep your side alive a lot longer when they're all together like that. So what I'm gonna do is just run up here, run through all these people with my horse. And, well, Shingen kind of beat me to it there and didn't do as good of a job, so that's kind of annoying. But uh, a lot of these jet troops don't even belong to Kenshin because it's just a bunch of troops that belong to all the generals that got defeated because I just took out a whole bunch of people while I was waiting for Yukimura to die. So you could do this mission one of two ways. You can either fail the um, stronghold thing. You can uh, let the main camp fall. If you do that, uh, you still get this, this. You still get the dialogue. I mean, the key is that dialogue where Kenshin says, "Is this the best you can do?" If you get that dialogue, then you know you've got the right version of this level. Um, but other than that, yeah, you can either fail the main camp, let the main camp get killed, which is what I was setting up, but then Yukimura died before. The main camp fell they were about to fall but then yukimura progressed too far and yutaro showed up um yutaro only shows up when yukimura defeats the general who's chilling at the main camp of the uesugi so that's kind of like your standard there that's what you need to keep track of is whoever is losing first that's what you need to know and that'll be which side you can choose to fail but basically, either the main camp needs to fail or Yukimura needs to retreat. Those are your two options. And I don't know which one would lead you the most units. The goal is obviously, for me, is to still have as many units alive as possible when that happens. So I think I did a pretty good job this time. Only lost a couple generals on the main camp side. Um, you can either lose those people or, you know lose Yukimura. So I lost Yukimura, Kunoichi, and Nobufusa, and then a couple of the generals at the top, because I was 
not sure which one was going to fall first. And obviously, yeah, the ideal situation is you lose no generals on one side, and then the other, either the either Yukimura and his posse get defeated, or the generals that protect the main camp get defeated, and then Yukimura and his whole little secondary army stays alive. So, whichever one you want will be fine. The key is just defeating or letting them all die and getting that dialogue with Kenshin. And again, you'll know you did it right if Kenshin says that and if Kenshin does not retreat. So Kenshin did not pull back to Zen Koji on this one, and that's another way that you know you did the right thing. So I hope this has all been super helpful. Um, again, if you're going for 100% of this game, which I wanted to do because this game is so freaking good and I wanted to go back and play it. It's like the game was so much of my childhood, so I was like, why would I not come back and play this game again? So that's why I've been making a 100% mission completion guide of this game and items and everything. So it's been really fun to play through this game, honestly. I've forgotten how great this game is and I've done a review of this game, but I'll do another one soon. I want to redo it because it's been a few years. But yeah, this game is just fantastic. Very, very good very very fun to play through and yeah well worth the, the time because it's just very well made it's a very well made game given that it was almost 15 years old. oh wait it's, it, oh, it is 15 years old it came out in 04 so this is a very old game um but it's the best so thank you all so much for watching enjoy the rest of me destroying tension here shouldn't be too much more and then enjoy the rest of or hope you all enjoy the video and subscribe for more help me get to a thousand subs not with us. This victory belongs to us all.